What are five yeah. steps everyone at home and the doctors here can do to harness their superpower? So step one is your comfort zone is lying to you. And let me explain this to you because it sounds a little funny, right? Your comfort zone is built on your habits and your habits are built on what's familiar to you. So if what's familiar to you has been unhappiness and disappointment, then your habits will evolve to perpetuate and create more disappointment and more unhappiness in your life. So that's step one. Mm, I like that. I like that. What's step two? Step two is weed out the garden. I want you to think about your life like a garden, and you are the master botanist of your life. I want you to think about the unsupportive people, the places, the things, the habits, the belief systems that are unsupportive to you activating your superpower and contributing something of value to the world. I really <laughs> like that, the, the garden analogy. That's a great visual to me that you're, you have your garden, you're trying to grow certain things, flowers or plants, uh, vegetables, right. whatever, and there are good things in there, and then sometimes you get bad things. Mm -hmm. We can do the same thing with our lives. I like it. What do you mean when you say hurt people hurt people? That's right. So that's step three, right? right. Uh, hurt people hurt people. It's when we're looking, when we look at step one and two, we realize that perhaps we've lived a life that we've been very self-destructive. We've been harming ourselves, and when we harm ourselves, we're unintentionally harming other people. So this step is is a vital step to healing. It's a vital step for you to activate your innate superpower. Uh, this step is about forgiveness. It's about saying, I forgive myself for the ways that I've lived. And, and please forgive me for the harm I've created, I've caused you. And then forgiving those who've caused you harm. This, is the, the, this last part is the one that I hear from my students having the hardest time. They're like, I don't want to forgive them. They've caused me pain. I don't want to forgive them. And remember that forgiving them who've caused you pain is a gift to yourself. So that's step three. Mm. And in step four, you say get curious. That's right. Um, curiosity leads to your passion. Your passion leads to your purpose. And your purpose is activating um, your superpowers and living with your superpowers fully lit. So your curiosities are, are going to be the things that are inspiring you to, to bring something of value back into the world. All right, Saab, what's the final step? final step. It's a two-parter. Um, heart values, your heart values, and be of service. So heart values, I want you to think about this. If someone was reading a eulogy in your funeral, what would it say about you? Oh, she lived a nice life. She was a nice person. What if, what if instead the eulogy said she lived a vibrant and colorful life? She truly helped people in the world. So when you're thinking about your heart values, I want you to think about that. What is it that, how, how do you want people to to, to speak about you when you're no longer here. So the second part to step five is being of service. I believe that genuine happiness comes from helping others. So when you think about it like that, you're like, okay, I know that I'm gonna go through these steps and I'm gonna get curious and activate my curiosity and activate my heart and be of service and help the world to enter into harmony. So that's, it. that's all the stuff. Well, so you got it. You are spiritually sassy. <laughs> He's a sassy guy, but you can tell you can tell what's going on deep inside there. Thank you. Listen, to learn more you, on, on how to harness your superpowers, go to the doctorstv.com.